Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and tonight we are going to talk about WWE Monday Night Raw September 16th, 2024. It takes place in Portland, Oregon at the Moda Center. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Monday Night Raw started off with a bang as CM Punk pulled up in his car and just decided to leave his door open because, hey, no one's going to steal his car. He made his way out to the ring with people chanting, CM Punk, CM Punk. He came in and talked about Drew McIntyre at Hell in a Cell. We're going to have a crazy match, which is going to be taking place at Bad Blood in a Hell in the Cell. And does he have any more Hell in a Cell matches left in him at his age? No! But he is going to do it nonetheless, and he is going to sacrifice his body and soul, baby, just to get that victory. And the only way Drew McIntyre is going to win is if he kills CM Punk. So this match is going to be great. I am looking forward to it. Bad Blood is going to please, please cross these fingers and with the match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. Because, hey, everybody wants to see it, and that's going to be the top match. After that, we had a backstage segment with Sheamus talking about, I am going to beat up Pete Dunne or Butch, whatever you want to call him. He came out to the ring because they had a match. Sheamus versus Pete Dunne. Let's start Monday Night Raw off great. Sheamus was destroying Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne was doing the finger bending and the, you know, the, the other body part bending and shit like that. Sheamus got like a 17 beat over the chest on Pete Dunne. It came down when Sheamus was thinking about hitting Pete Dunne with the, the shillelagh. And then the referee took it away. Pete Dunne slid out of the ring. Did a botch move trying to hit Sheamus with a wooden plank. Came into the ring. Did a little kick to Sheamus. One, two, three. Pete Dunne pulled up the victory. I'm going to give this some bitch an up because it was actually a pretty damn good match. And Sheamus is fantastic. Pete Dunne is great too. Uh, we had a little bit of a segment back in uh, with Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. They were just walking. Jay Uso was there. He's like, hey, they're like, hey, yeet. And then, um, what's his name? What happened? Oh, wait a second. I'm rushing ahead, but who cares? Let's just talk about the segment with Jay Uso coming out and talking about how he is going to face next week for the Intercontinental Championship against Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker came out. You know, they had a little spiel back and forth. Jay Uso made a comment about him getting like failing uh, professional football, like less than like three or four months or some shit like that. Breaker tried to spear him, but Jay Uso countered with a spear of his own, and uh, Braun rolled out of the ring, and that was the end of that segment. He'll show up later in the night. Uh, then there was what's it called? Oh, uh, Braun Strowman is warming up because he's got a match against Big Bronson Reed. Miz came in. They're setting Miz up for some kind of program. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Basically said, oh, you said I couldn't beat Braun uh, uh, Breaker because he's a monster. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just get right into that match because while I'm fresh and remember it, uh, Braun Strowman and Bronson Reed, I don't know why I keep saying Breaker because I was thinking about the prior match. They came in, broke the ring, broke the ring, fought all over the ring, did big impact moves, went to the back, went through a wall. They both were knocked out. And when they came back from the commercial break, Adam Pierce was all worried and shit like that. Ludwig Kaiser was there talking shit about Sami Zayn. How he wants a match against Gunther. And he's like, nah, dog. He shouldn't get one. And he's like, well, if you got a problem, you go talk to Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's music hit. Ludwig went to the ring, said, Sami, you're a chump. You shouldn't face Gunther. You got over once over Gunther. You're not going to get over again. Zayn's like, yo, come on, brah. I know you probably want a world title match too. You're going to follow behind Gunther still? Break off on your own. He's trying to create that separation. But Ludwig Kaiser, mm, 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 you cannot do that to the Kaiser, man. Out came Gunther, was like, oh, you got something to say, brah? And then they beat the shit out of Sami Zayn, and then Gunther left the ring. Sami Zayn got over on Ludwig, did a hell of a kick, and ended that segment. Uh, there was a women's match between all of this, between Natalia and Zoe Stark, but you don't really care about that. Natalia did pick up the victory with a small package. Woo! Um, let's see what else. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, Liv Morgan had a little segment with Damian Priest later on in the night. It was like, oh, I'm glad I broke up the Judgment Day and blah, 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 blah. And then Damian Priest is like, I'm going to beat the shit out of Dom and everybody else in Judgment Day. So you can run your mouth as much as you want. Whereas Finn Balor also did a little backstage segment with Rhea Ripley 
talking about how he influenced them to go with Liv because he was like, ah, Rhea's a shit, whatever, she ain't cool, and so go hook up with Liv. He was that little devil on his uh, shoulder and shit like that. And Liv's like, I'm going to beat the shit out of Liv, then I'm going to beat the shit out of everybody else on Judgment Day, so I don't know what to tell you guys. All right, actually, that got me pretty quick through this paperwork, even though I'm a little bit out of order, folks. Um, WWE Tag Team Champions, Bianca Blair and Jay Cargill had a backstage segment with Io Sky. Io Sky was not supposed to be in a match with Bianca Blair, but they swapped places between Carrie Zane because she had an eye injury. And uh, Io Sky's like, I'll take you on, Bianca Blair. Bianca Blair's like, all right, let's have that match. Let's talk about that match real quick. A great match, probably the best match of, of Raw tonight. Um, Io Sky and Bianca Blair are just two fantastic wrestlers. In the female division, they are both top-notch. They are top of the chain. Uh, the match ended with Io Sky getting a roll-up, a little small package, getting out of the KOD. Bianca Blair was stunned. She was like, I can't believe I lost. I believe this is the second loss in this whole entire year um, for Bianca Blair. The first one was against Nia Jax, and that was all, you know, disheveled. And this one, Io Sky beat her, so... I think that it's going to be a tag team championship match, you know, between Bianca Blair and Cargill versus, you know, Damage Control before, you know, I guess um, Asuka gets back or shit like that. Who knows? I, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't, really don't know. All right. Where am I at? Where am I at? We talked about Sami Zayn. Oh, oh, the New Day. The New Day had a tag team title match against Judgment Day. Prior to this, Xavier Woods like, listen... I do not want any help from you, Damian Priest. I don't want any help from you, Rhea Ripley. We will take care of it ourselves. But beknownst to Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston got the help of the LWL in case Judgment Day interfered. They were having an eh, okay of a match. Kofi Kingston, like an idiot, jumped out of the ring to knock everybody down and was distracted for way, way, way too long. And the ref rolled out of the ring. Too much nonsense going on. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Xavier Woods got the elbow on JD, had him covered. He's like, yo, ref, what the hell's your deal? Then, you know, got into the ring. Finn Balor got the stomp on him. And then after the match, because, of course, I can't know, I forgot the ups and downs to on all the other matches. Who gives a shit? I don't have a lot of time. Um, Xavier Woods was pissed of shit at Kofi Kingston, and they're probably going to break up eventually, or who knows? They're just planting seeds. Uh, this match, I am going to remember, is getting it down because it was really weak and lacklustery. Oh, the women's tag team match. I'm sorry, the women's, uh, I'm sorry, Bianca Blair. And Io Sky, up. Uh, what else did I forget? Uh, Bronson Reed and uh, Braun Strowman, up. Because that was fucking incredible. Um, the was it uh, Natalia and Zoe Stark down. There you go. I think I'm caught up. Uh, where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, uh, let's just skip ahead real quick. We got the final match, which was um, Dirty Dom versus uh, Damian Priest. Great match, back and forth. Of course, you had a lot of interference from Judgment Day. Uh, however, Damian Priest was able to pick the victory with the choke slam or the... I can't remember right off the top of my head. Some kind of... I know it's a choke slam, all right? Just, uh, and in the end, Judgment Day beat the shit out of Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. And as Jey Uso came out, he got speared by, of course, and anybody could have called it as a standing round from Jey Uso for 20 minutes, um, by Braun Breaker. And that was the end with... Coup de Grosses left and right onto Damian Priest and whatever the hell Liv Morgan's oblivion shit on Free Ripley. Uh, that match is getting an up as well. I'm sorry if I forgot anything else, but I only have eight minutes. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with Eight Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time. We talk about more stuff, more things, and probably not more wrestling until Friday. I'll see you later. Bye!